Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, with me, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. In the last episode, we did quite a lot of things. Um, we made our feeders for the animal barns and the coops, and we also repaired the silo so that we can supply fodder to these feeders, uh, which will automatically dispense food to the animals um, every morning and um, also we did quite a number of things uh, what the main thing that we were running low of was um, the ores to process into ingots so I think we're going to address that on this episode as we also strive to upgrade our house again so let's continue from that point hello everybody welcome back to the getaway farm it's me Dark Mazda for Dark Mazda series gaming it is autumn the 6th, it's a Friday and it is raining, so we do not have to water our plants. We haven't had to do that for a long time now because we have got sprinklers of course, but because it's raining, yep, we don't have to worry about um, watering them even if we didn't have the sprinklers, so there we have it. So we've got some honey coming out here, we're going to put this straight into the honey maker, and put 10 in. And we've got some left over for ourselves, I think. Yeah, two here. Um, yeah, fill to the brim with honey. We were going to make a gate, but we don't have anything on us to be able to do that. So we're going to have to go around the old-fashioned way and pick up some plants from this box here in order to... Oh, actually, we've got the roses. What are we doing? Hey, silly us. Yeah. We've got the roses we can put into these beehives for now. And hopefully we'll be able to make eight star honey with the next batch. So we'll insert that. Um right, let's go and check the makers. I mean we've got rose seeds coming up there. Um the fodder's doing nicely. Pop in and see the chickens then. There we go. So that was our feeder that we saw there, and that's already refilled the the fodder for us so we've got some butter here um, what else let's pop in and see our animals there's a billy goat So that's um, 2 out of 10, that should have automatically f filled. Um, right, I guess we still have to check on it. It's not as automated as we once thought. But it's a good job we're checking on these things anyway, just to make sure. There is still a bit there, so it's not as if um, there's any reason why it shouldn't be filling up. Okay, let's chuck everything into here um, that we've just got there. Goat milk, rabbit fur. Right, we have got all that complete. 
So we could do with putting some more things in there. Um, let's see, what do we have the most of? Let's try this um, Milk Plus. Yeah, that'll do. So these are coming along nicely by the looks of it. I don't need to do anything there. Now, there was an event coming up on the calendar, if I remember rightly. No, it's a couple of days. It's on Sunday, so we don't have to worry about that at the moment. Right, what have we got? about it I think we'll go and check on the wood over here just need more silver ingots and then we can build our upgrade our house what we are going to do is we're going to take that with us though um, coming back to that in a moment just going to drop everything off that we don't want and then we're going to go mining and get some more silver Trust me to take the long way around. Put that in there. So just a couple of other bits to put away and then we're ready to do whatever it is we need to do. Let's have a look. Um, yep, grass goes in here. I think we're going to put the stone and that in there as well. Right, we're going to have a go at this mini game at the Beanstalk Island. We're going to see if we can get the the last two the last two stamina hearts. So, yeah, let's uh, go for it.
Hey, high score bonus. Your max stamina is increased. You've also obtained 100 sprite coins. So there we go. Lovely stuff. So now we have an absolutely full stamina bar. So we're going to pop to the mine. Oh, actually... We're just going to clear up the ore spaces around our farm. Um, it's going to be beneficial to us just clearing this up and get a bit of everything while we're running about. Yeah, I thought there'd be a few over here. And there's a few outside of the mine. Does us nicely.
two raw seeds. Now, are we going to grow these again? Do you know what? I think we're going to. Right, let's call that a day then. Let's say hello to Spike. Hello, Spike. Woof, woof. Nice to see you, buddy. And we made 15,000. Okay, let's go and have a look at everything. We'll water these first. Couple here that need watering. And these aren't done yet, are they? No, they're not done. And they're not done either. That honey's finished though. I think we'll have to keep hold of some of that honey. Oh, our fodder is done. We'll harvest that. We're gonna need some more fodder seeds, I think. Oh, while we make the trip to the town, we can also get those items appraised that we put in that chest at the top of uh, our farm. And we do need to uh, do something about these trees and the untidiness of this top section here as well. It's starting to uh, play a little bit on me. so close together all right they're all gonna come out to graze is here. I was worried that he'd escaped or ran away or died or something. But he hasn't. That's okay. That's good. So let's go and see to the cows now.
Did I even let um, those animals out to pasture? Don't think I did, you know. Well, what am I like? There we go. Now they're all happy. Right, first things first, we'll put the things in the box that we don't mind getting rid of. Right, and we're going to take some items to get appraised. Twelve items to get appraised. Right, here we go. Oh, what's happening here then? Oh, Maz, now that you're here, we can begin the ceremony. Ahem, thank you all so much for participating in the second roadway and lamp beautification campaign. Our results are in. Yes, finally. Yay! We received some wonderful designs from you all. It was tough to narrow our entries down, but we have our winners. Oh, lovely. The winner of the road category, who will have their design used in town, is none other than Cindy. Congratulations. I I won. And the lamp design we'll be using belongs to Mikey. Alright. We have many other winning ideas that will be incorporated to make Olive Town more fun. Thanks in part two. Quite a lot of you. Yes, congratulations. Quite a lot of us have names you know. We work so hard on those concepts too. M my apologies, what I meant to say was, our winners are... Angela, the general store owner, with a smile that warms the hearts of her regulars. Oh, stop. And the ever cheerful Sally. Hooray, hooray! The eternally youthful Jesse. My, my, that's quite the silver tongue you have there, Victor. Now a local ex pirate, Jason. Oh, someone finally acknowledges my true profession. Mr. Mayor, don't egg him on like that, otherwise, he really is going to think he's an ex pirate. And last but not least, our favourite farmer, whose presence makes everybody's day that much better. Let's hear it for Maz. Woo! And that concludes our ceremony. Let's all work together and build our Olive Town into an even better place. What do you say, folks? I say yay! And the paths have changed colour. The lamp posts are different, but life remains the same. Let's go to the museum. Let's get these items appraised. Let's see what we've got. Now it's a shame we can only do one at a time. Right, there's something else that I can um, donate to the museum, organise. Here's your Silver Town Medal. Oh. A Desert Rose. Oh. Oh. We're getting quite a lot of things that we can donate to the museum, so that's okay, that's good. We've got a gold ingot.
Gibeon stone. Oh. A jewelry locket. Oh. Another desert oh. rose. Ambergris. Last one is right ambergris again. Hello. So we're going to donate some treasure. So we're going to donate some more canines. That's it. So what have we got here? A jewellery locker, a locker studded with a shining gemstone. A gift as fancy as this is sure to be well received. And we're going to go and see Lynn and we are going to give her that um, that locket we've just found there. Because it's been a while since we give her a gift. So what better gift than the gift of jewellery? And she's outside and I've just gone inside. So that's my bad. The mushroom one is in the near future. Aren't you excited for it? Oh, we definitely are. Um, let's give her this. Th thank you so much. I'm not entirely sure how to express my gratitude for such a wonderful gift. You don't have to say anything. You just have to be grateful and accept it and be overjoyed. And we need some, uh, before I forget, we need some fodder seeds. Ah. Spinach seeds. Okay. Okra seeds. Sweet potato. Olives. Stick with the fodder for now. We'll get a hundred. Seeds. Can I get out? Thank you.
actually. We'll plant them. Then we're going to go mining. Well, actually, no. Uh, we've got more jobs to do. We need to put the items we don't need into the box here. Right, and we will be back in a moment. Okay, so we spent too long in the mine last night and um, <laughs> didn't realise that the time was getting away with us. But what we did get was whoop, was quite a lot of supplies. We got um, 116 silver ore, 117 iron. Um, we did get 45 gold. And then we went on a, a bit of a fishing binge and got some gazami crabs sparkling fish you know some odd bits and bobs here we want to try and chuck some of the some of them in the fridge uh, we're going to change out this eel for this eel whiskered velvet shrimp so we've got a crayfish we've got a seven star crayfish we'll put that in there um, is there anything else? There isn't. Sparkling fish, Kazami crab. We'll take the two star one out and we will put the five star one in. Just double check the recipes. Ah, it's a giant tiger shrimp that we need. Not sure where we'll get those. Spike. Hey, buddy. Right, let's drop the sapphire in. Right, there we have it. Looks as though our melons are ready to harvest. We'll quickly do that now. Thank <laughs> you. 
48 of those. Lovely. Um, get some beans out as well. Um, because we want to we want to keep some of these. We'll keep eight of them. And we'll put the rest into the shipping bin. Yep, that makes us a pretty penny. We'll plant some beans. One second. I didn't let the chickens out, did I? Hey, what am I like? Same for the cows. Milk them, pet them, feed them.
Let's go and see what wood we've got. all finished now. We'll do solid logs next. Two more silver and we can upgrade our house providing we've got a hundred thousand we'll have to wait a little bit there mind um let's go and put some stuff in the box we'll clean up our farm a little bit That's that cleaned up. Right, let's pop to the museum. Okay, all the mushrooms are nice and hidden. Swiftly placed, Mikey. You have my thanks. Laurie loves mushrooms, so I bet he's been looking forward to this year's festival. Indeed he has. Why, I can already imagine the joy on the young master's visage. Ah, well met, Master Maz. Will you be partaking in the mushroom hunt as well? If you find yourself compelled to collect mushrooms, speak with me and I shall assist you. I wish you a most bountiful hunt. Is that today? I thought that was tomorrow. In the mushroom hunt, residents compete over who can find the most toy mushrooms in town. Speak with Dosetsu if you're interested in participating. Well, I did forget that it was the Mushroom Festival, but I did think it was on the following day. Oops. Anyway, would you care to partake in the festivities? Let's tell you the rules. Collect mushrooms around town. You'll get more points by finding larger mushrooms. You can only pick up a certain number of them at once, so keep an eye on your time and total and get the best score you can. What say you, Maz? 
Would you care to partake in the festivities and join our mushroom hunt? Yeah, let's um, have a go at the mushroom hunt then. Mini game reward, got gold shroom trophy and 5,000 gold. It was quite an easy, that was quite an easy um, activity. If I may have your attention please, I would like to announce the results of this year's mushroom hunt. It's my honour to announce our splendid fungi hunting champion. Maz. My sincerest congratulations to you, Maz. Let us give our winner a rousing cheer. Now it is my hope that you all made merry in this year's mushroom hunt. I too took great interest in where the mushrooms were hidden and decided to search on my own. I was most glad to find that the mushrooms were hidden with the utmost care. Alas, every good thing must come to an end and our mushroom hunt is no different. With this, our festival comes to a close. My humblest thanks to all of you for your participation. So I still don't get to go to the, to the town. trade these in I'll make a wooden gate um, we're gonna have a quick look to get the silver ingots ready for our We are going to put the gate here. There we go. And then we've got access to that chest. Should have plenty. Yeah, we've got plenty now, so that's good. Um, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to finish off one more day and then upgrade our house and draw close to the episode. Because we're going to need more space for our trophies eventually, aren't we? So there we go.
41,000. Wow. Well, we definitely have more than enough to be able to upgrade our house again. Oh, some more, some more roses. We can't put these in because they are actually um, 10 star rows. So we're going to have to wait, but that's okay. We'll just quickly check in on our animals. Is there anything else? Alright, so we have got five of these. So we'll chuck that in there. These are still all right. Is that everything? Yeah, that is everything. We need another seed maker at some point. We'll put our melon in there. Pop to the town. Now, fingers crossed, Monday isn't the day that the museum's closed. doesn't look like it but we're just gonna to have to wait for everybody to get here hmm. go on you're almost late for work here talk to them until nine o'clock right okay um donate fish let's have a look a rare fish that glimmers like a gem it will ship for a high price well we donate in one and we keep one in our fridge for cooking purposes there's no doubt there'll be a rare recipe at some point and we have finished our first row of fish Thank you kindly. And now to get our house up 
upgrade our house. This is a tool shop. We don't want to be there. It's this one. Here we are. Hello. So let's expand our house. Oh, it's 40 we need. I thought it was 30. Not to worry. Well, it's a two-story house and it comes with a huge decorating area and a giant fridge. And it's large enough for three pets. Right. Hello. So there we go. We can afford it now. So let's get it. Let's get it. Well, this definitely looks more improved. Construction's complete. How would you like that? You've got a second floor now. Your bedroom's been moved up to the second floor, so now, now you've got more space on the first floor to decorate. Anyway, I'd best be heading back to the workshop. Take care now, Maz. Well, good stuff. I mean, look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Wow, very big. I've got three lots we can put in the fridge. Actually, let's go and move a lot of those things from the chest outside into the fridge. Now that we can. There's a lot of um, things here that we want to take in. Green peppers. There we go. Loads of shelf space. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for this episode of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. I've been your host today, Dark Master, for Dark Master Series Gaming. And if you've been watching to this point, Thank you very much. Watching the content is supporting the content. We have upgraded our house again. It cost us 100,000 gold, but I think it was going to be worth it in the long run. Um, we don't really have too much left to upgrade. Um, we are just performing our daily routine at the moment. I think most of the town quests have been completed. Um, until the mayor tells us um, he's got some upgrading plans, then... There's not much, uh, a lot more that we can do. Um, we're going to continue on though. We're really still enjoying this game. And we're going to keep upgrading our farm as we go. So if you have enjoyed the content. Please give a like and a sub. And until next time that's goodbye from me. And I will see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>